Okay, let's talk about confidence. What does confidence mean to you? Well, confidence means to me that you don't care what other people think. You know, if they've got a problem with what you're doing, then that's their problem. So today I want to talk about 10 tips. I've got 10 tips for you about increasing your confidence. Number one, I want you to write a list about the things that you hate or dislike about yourself. And then I want you to find the nearest mirror, look hard into the mirror, and yell, Get a life! Because the Cambodian legless mind victims don't want to hear your petty BS. Okay? They don't want to hear you whinging about Oh, you know, you got a little bump on your nose, or you got some freckles, or you know, you don't like this mole where it is, or something pathetic like that, okay? Put your problems into perspective, people. Write a list about all the things you love about yourself. All the things that you just love, love, love about yourself, okay? So do that, then find a mirror, and this time go to the mirror and say, You cocky bitch, stop being so up yourself. Just kidding. This is your go-to list. When you have a go-to list, you can look on it all the time and remind yourself about what you love about yourself. Because if you emphasize those things that you love about yourself, then all your self-created imperfections will dissolve. People will not see them. It doesn't matter if you're the ugliest person on the planet. It does not matter. If you wear confidence, then you may as well be the most beautiful person on the planet. So looks have nothing to do with confidence. Let's just remember that, okay? Because if you're holding back as a person because you think you're ugly, then you're always going to be ugly to other people as well. You know, they're not going to see the beauty within you because you don't love yourself. What you see as an imperfection may be something totally sexy and beautiful to another person. Okay, number three is visualize yourself happy, strong, motivated every single morning. Okay, this is no hippie BS. This is true, it works, I've done it myself. I have the confidence level I do now because of these steps. Alright, so visualization is very, very important. When you wake up in the morning, lie there, close your eyes and see yourself how you want to be. You know, see yourself acting the way you want to act, confident, hanging around confident people, and you will create that. It's first created on the inside and then it's projected into the external reality. Number four is build a bubble around yourself. Take insults as compliments. Are you living your life for someone else, for some other chump, or are you living it for yourself? If someone wants to talk, senseless smack about you, then they are just jealous. Remember that. It's just jealousy. So again, take it as a compliment. Thank the person. Smile. Give them a bit of a wink. Because it's a compliment. Did you see that bitch over there? Like, she thinks she's so good. Like, who does she think she is? You know, I am way better than her, but like, I don't know, she just walks like she knows her stuff. She's like confident, she owns it. Wow. What a bitch. I wish I could be her. So, that brings me on to my next point. Fake it till you make it. Yes, that's right. Fake it till you make it. What do I mean? Well, if you are not the confident person you want to be yet, then you have to emulate other people, other confident people. You know, copy their body language. What do they do? They sit up straight? Yes, of course they do. Confident people don't slouch. So bring that posture up. Watch all the other things that they do, how they talk, you know, how they look, how they dress, all of that. So if you fake it long enough, eventually you will just become that person. You will just take on that, those personality traits of a confident person. But you need to do it every day. You need to make a conscious effort, do your visualization. When you're walking down the street, have good posture. When you talk to people, look them in the eye. Don't look away or look down because they're traits of an unconfident person. Number six, go in running races. For the ladies out there, there is nothing better than beating guys in running races. Trust me, that's what I do now. I love it. You know, when I'm running along and there's a guy in front of me, I will do everything that it takes to overtake that guy. 
it is so empowering for a female to do this. Because we, we are put down a lot in society and history. So it's time to step up and leave those guys behind. You know, if you're a guy watching this, well, you know, if you see a girl overtake you, you've just got to step up, man. Man up. Number seven is surround yourself with positive, confident people. Because who we hang around, we become. Believe it or not, that's the truth. You know, if you hang around drug takers, you know, smack dealers, whatever, you're going to become one, all right? If you hang around unconfident people who are always putting themselves down, always putting others down, then you will become that. So surround yourself with people with a high standard, people who want more in life. You know, you can see those people, you know who they are. So become friends with them, hang out with them. Confidence leaves clues. Number eight, we talked a little bit about it before, posture, okay, and other mannerisms. There's certain ma mannerisms that give away an unconfident person almost immediately. Hi, um, my name's Freely, and um, yeah, I, I like fruit. So the rolled shoulders like this, eyes down, head down, you know, looking sort of, oh my god, life's so hard. Even though I live in the richest country in the world and I have everything and like have everything in my fingertips and endless food and water and but anyway, that's another story. If you you know, if you're scratching your arm like this, this is an unconfident body language. Also too much hair flicking. It can look really unconfident, that's what it usually means. You know, if you're playing with your hair too much like this, looking side to side, that's pretty unconfident. So, good posture, chest up, shoulders back, and walking strongly. Okay, you don't want any of this, like, dragging your feet. That is not confident, that's not energetic, that's not sexy, that's nothing. That's not like a raw fit bitch. So, you want to be strong and confident, up tall. Chin up. Number nine is dress confidently. Look after yourself. Okay, keep yourself clean, keep your clothing clean. Wear things that make you feel good because when you feel good, you are more likely to be confident. If you go out in daggy clothing that's ripped and it's got fruit stains all over it or, or whatever that is, then it's just going to bring your demeanor down and people are going to see that and it's just going to be this cycle of unconfidence, okay, or insecurity. Number 10 is put your problems into perspective. Come on, you know, most people watching this, if you're able to watch YouTube, then you have a good life. Basically, you have enough water, you have shelter, you have enough food, all those things. If you have the luxury to watch YouTube, then you have no complaints. You know, go and travel to third world countries. You will see what problems are all about then. Even these people don't see them as problems though. They are so motivated. Do you think they care about the bump on their nose or that their eyes are too close together or whatever petty problem you have in your head that's telling you that you can't be confident? Because remember, this is a story you're telling yourself. You're saying, oh my god, you know, people must be staring at me all the time, like staring at the bump on my nose. So I can't be confident. Which is just BS. Of course you can be. This is just something that you have made up in your head. So you've got to forget about that because people don't give two hoots about it. They're not looking at that at all. But unless you point it out, which is what a lot of unconfident people do, they point out their imperfections. And then the person's like, oh, oh yeah, you do have a bump on your nose. And they start to focus on it. Trust me. When you come in contact with an unconfident person, insecure person, you will immediately know and you will start to criticize their appearance or something about them. You'll start to criticize them more because they are criticizing themselves inside and it's coming out. Okay, people can tell that. You have to love yourself within so you can project a confident, strong persona. So I wasn't going to go to a number 11, but I am now because this is really important. Number 11 is your lifestyle and what you eat. What you eat is so important to how you feel and how confident you are. Because if you're putting rubbish down your gob, then you're going to get rubbish emotions. 
So you need to put clean, burning fruits and vegetables down the hatch. So a high carb, raw vegan lifestyle. 30bananasaday.com. Check it out because that's where the results are. That's where the confidence is. When you're feeling good and you're looking good, then you know you are. You know, you, you know it, you own it. People see you. They think you're glowing. They can see it within you that you are a confident person. And it's much easier to, to be that person. So eat a high carb, raw vegan diet. Make sure you stick to the other lifestyle principles. You know, get enough sunshine, enough water, sleep, exercise. You know, exercise is really powerful in improving your confidence. So the last thing I want to say is definitely never ever put yourself down. There are so many people who will line up and do that for you. Okay? Never ever put yourself down. Oh my god, I've got like... My, my pinky is too short and I've got too many freckles on my body and my nose is too big and my eyes are too close together. Oh my god, poor me. Only put yourself up. Don't worry about that, you know, those people who say, oh no, you shouldn't boast, you know, you shouldn't make yourself sound too good because then other people will feel bad. But it's not about that. Everyone can feel good within themselves. We all have the power. It's not up to us as individuals to make ourselves feel bad in order to make someone else feel good. So never put yourself down. And when you feel like someone's trying to pull you down, you just lift yourself higher. You know, to surround yourself with love within yourself and you will be impervious to any sort of insults or jealousy. Oh yeah, and this brush that I've got in my hair, I am starting a new trend. Okay, you're going to see this around the streets in New York over the next couple of weeks. You're going to see girls everywhere with brushes in their hair, so keep an eye out.